Okay, a very good evening. All right, today we're going to look at some questions, okay, on electromagnet. Okay, so this is what we're going to focus. All right, electromagnet. Most of you have learned this. All right, selamat sejahtera. Jadi kita buat berbalik ke topik electromagnet. Kita akan buat beberapa soalan berkenaan dengan topik ini. All right. So, kita tengok soalan yang ditanya. Ini sebenarnya soalan essay. It's actually essay question. Alright, let's take a good look. Alright, let's take a good look at the, uh, what should I say, the diagram. Okay, everybody is ready. Uh, if you are ready, then uh, if you are ready, okay, I'm going to look at the question. Huh? Alright, diagram 1.1 and 1.2 show electric uh, bell with different number of turns all right now you notice that uh, here all right very clear it has got less number of turns here it has got more number of turns agree which are connected all right which are connected right to the similar batteries when the switch is on the bell in diagram 1.2 ring loudly than in 1.1 so understood so you know all right, we have uh, we are going to do a say. All right, we are going to look at manipulated variable and responding variable. All right, dalam bahasa kita kata pemboleh ubah manipulasi, dah pemboleh ubah dimanipulasi dan juga pemboleh ubah um, yang ke responding. Okay, bergerak balas. Clear? All right, so understood. Manipulated variable is always the cause. Okay, penyebab. Okay, sebab penyebab. Okay, so. We know the cost here is actually number of turns, betul? Alright, number of turns. So we have this one only a few turns, alright, and this one you know, alright. This one we know you have uh, many turns here, correct? So understood. The manipulator is going to be the number of turns in the coil, okay? Number of turns in the coil. So if you were to look at the answer, it's already written there, alright. Okay, here, let's go, okay, let's go higher a bit, all right, come on, uh, let's go higher a bit, okay, uh, you'll be able to see, all right, the number of turns is going to be our manipulated, all right, number of turns, all right, and responding, okay, now, responding, some people will write the strength, right, some people will write the strength of electro, strength of electromagnetic force, strength. Okay, R E N. Okay, strength of, all right, strength of, okay, electromagnetic, okay, electromagnetic force. All right, okay, it's actually correct if you like this, but you cannot measure, all right, and because you cannot measure, you need to put a bracket. You need to put a bracket. All right, kerana kekuatan medan elektromagnet tak dapat disukat, kita kena letak satu kurungan. Alright, disukat ataupun beritahu pemeriksa. Okay, alright, okay, disukat. Okay, berdasar kepada bilangan pin yang ditarik. Okay, alright, then you gonna write down here represented by. Okay, represented by. Okay, the number of. Right by the number of pins. If you use pin, if you use, uh, let's say, uh, if you were you to use a uh, triangle clip, all right, or paper clip, then you write paper clip. Number of pins attracted. All right, number of pins attracted. Senang saja kan, betul? Uh, jangan tulis kekuatan medan elektromagnet huh? kerana tak boleh disukat. Jadi adik kena tulis, all right, bilangan nombor Bilangan pin yang ditarik. And just like what you see here. The number of pins attracted. Ah, baru betul. Kerana ini mesti disukat. You must know what's the meaning of variable. Variable is something which is what? Measurable. Alright? Which is measurable. Dapat disukat. Alright? Dapat disukat ataupun dibilang. Alright? Okay? Measurable. Okay? With number. The okay? number means nilai. Right? Number and also unit. Alright, number and unit. So, bilangan itu memang kita ada nombor. Clear? Alright, kerana dia tak ada unit, it's okay. Clear? And then, understood the constant variable. Alright, constant variable, the last one. Huh? Ataupun kita kata fixed variable, will be the current. 
okay, or the diameter of the coil wire. Alright, right, now, important for you to get this correct. Huh? You will get this correct, and then you look at the answer given by the student. Okay, please take a good look. Huh? Alright, the answer given by student, we're going to move over here. Alright, so adik akan dapat lihat jawapan yang diberikan. Ini sample. Okay, let's take a good look. Alright, so they will, uh, they will ask you about which one is bigger, which one is smaller. Okay, doesn't matter. Alright, so we know we are going to look at the number of turns. Alright, we're going to look at the number of turns. Let's take a good look. Huh? Alright, let's take a good look how this uh, student answer. Alright. Okay, we look at the variable first. Number, okay, manipulated variable, number of turns in the solenoid, atau pembilangan lilitan dalam solenoid, atau bergelung. Alright, number of nails. Okay, if you, if you use nails, attractor. Alright, and constant variable is the current. Clear? So look at the hypothesis to investigate. Alright, sorry, the aim. Alright, to investigate the relationship between the number of turns. Alright, in the solenoid. Uh, if you were to add in the solenoid, even better. Alright, and the strength of electromagnetic field. Ah, ini boleh, ini okay. This is okay. Alright, because you haven't reached you haven't reached a um, variable yet. Alright, if you have not reached reached variable yet, uh, it's okay for you to write the strength of electromagnetic field. Okay, kekuatan medan magnet. Boleh. So this will be all the radars yang kita pakai. Alright, radars yang kita pakai. Alright, DC power supply, soft iron core switch. Retro stand, insulated wire, all right, iron nail, all right, kita tengok gambar aja, okay. So this is the diagram that you're going to use, all right. So we're going to have, let's take a good look, all right. Let's take a good look. We are going to have this uh, iron nail, all right, and then soft iron core, and then we have the solenoid here, okay, and the rheostat, okay, and emitter to adjust the current, all right. Uh, let's take a good look, huh? We start with 20 turns. 20 tons of insulated wire is used to wound around the soft iron core. Bilangan lilitan sebanyak 20 dililit. Okay, melalui. Alright, uh, kita kata um, kita kata uh, sebatang ke besi. Alright, tulin. Alright, next this one soft iron core. Okay, sebatang besi tulin. Then the power supply is turned on and the number of nails are attracted. So it's always remember the first sentence we talk about manipulated variable. What's manipulated variable? Remember number of turn, All right? Number of turn. So you will be able to see here number of turns, ah, uh, twenty turns, all right, of insulated wire, all right. And second sentence you always talk about responding variable. Remember responding variable? Remember? Okay. Kembali ubah yang bergerak balas. Remember the number of what? Number of nails attracted. Alright, number of new adalah bilangan uh, paku. Number of news attracted yang ditarik. Okay, alright, attracted. Boleh senang sahaja. Alright, okay. One is manipulated, one is responding. Understood? The third sentence will be ulangan. Betul? Alright, the experiment is repeated by using the call with okay more turns. Okay, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, and forty turn. Clear? Alright. Uh, let's take a good look. A good look at the next one. Huh? Next one understood lah. Okay, hey, um, the table of tabulation. All right, so the number must match what you use at the top. All right, it must match. Remember, you start with 20. All right, okay, you see the first sentence at the top there, 20 turns, right? Then increase to 25. All right, nampak? Nampak ke tidak? All right, we start with uh, 20. All right, then we go to 25, 30, 35, and 40. All these number must appear here. Understand? Huh? It must be the same. So understood the two column in your table, all right. Definitely one is manipulated number of turns, right? The other one will be responding, all right, which is the what? Then number of nails attracted. Okay, you must follow what you have written. Okay, remember the first column must be manipulated variable, which is a number of turns in the solenoid. All right, the second one must be what responding variable, all right, and you leave it empty. Okay. Kamu boleh bergerak balas, kita biarkan dia kosong kerana eksperimen belum dilakukan. Boleh? Alright. Dan graf juga sama. Alright. Graf juga sama. Okay. Manipulated variable. Okay. Kamu boleh ubah dimanipulasi. Mesti menggunakan kita label pada paksi X. Dan okay. Manipulated. Manipulated. Okay. They, what we call uh, 
responding. Okay, responding uh, verbal. Right, responding verbal must be. All right, responding verbal must be the y axis. Clear? All right, huh? that's all you need to know. And uh, let's take a good look. All right, at uh, other things that you need to know. Okay, so this is what we have talked about. All right, number of. Okay, uh, everything is similar to what we did here. Okay, so uh, no, no, this this particular question. Okay, huh? Now, this particular question that we have done, we actually look at the number of turns, okay, as your manipulator. Okay, at the bottom, there's another question. It's talking about, let's read, huh? Okay, let us read. Okay, diagram 2.1 show a junk yard crane pulling an iron. All right, so you see a little bit of iron and the current is 5 ampere. And you look at the 2.2, uh, all right, amount of iron attracted, okay, has increased. When the current increase, uh, they tell you the current. So understood, all right? Okay, the manipulated variable or the cost must be current, you know? The cost must be current, all right? Because one, they tell you smaller current, the other one, bigger current, you know, did that? So current supply, you know, did right? Oh, sorry, this was, uh, I've written the, okay, I just cancel it, all right? Your manipulated variable is going to be the current supply, okay? All right, some people will just write current, arus. All right, but the responding variable must say sama. All right, okay, based on this, so much of iron, this one only a little bit of iron. All right, is still, all right, the number of pins attracted. All right, the number of pins attracted. Boleh? So I think you have the idea already. Okay, all right, and now to balik, the constant variable or the fixed variable, number of turns in the solenoid or the diameter of the coil wire. All right, so let's take a good look at the, uh, we call it the aim. Okay, we go up, look at the aim. All right, you must talk about, okay, the manipulated and talk about responding. Okay, so investigate relationship between the manipulated, which is current, and the responding, which is the number of pin attracted. All right, then we go up, we look at hypothesis. All right, understood the higher the manipulated, the higher the responding. Isn't it right? Okay, uh, some people will write, as current increases, the number of pins attracted increases. All right. Or you use the word the because hypothesis, you have okay, the word the here. The okay. The higher. All right. You see the word the, right? T H E. All right. You see the word the, right? The higher the current supply, okay, the higher the current, all right, the higher the number of pins attracted. Okay, as simple as that. Inference understood, you make the relationship A affect B. All right, A affect B or use the word depends on. All right, if you use the word affect, okay, affect. Okay, mempengaruhi then arus. Okay, ada akan letak di depan. All right, okay, current you write in front. If you use the word, okay, affect. All right, and the number, okay, number or amount, amount, amount of iron because iron is uncountable. All right, amount of iron is uncount uncountable. All right. Okay, so if you use the word effect, use the word effect, all right, the current affect the amount of iron attracted. Clear? Tapi kalau adik menggunakan perkataan, okay, adik menggunakan perkataan iaitu uh, depends on, ah, terbalik. Okay, if you use the word depends on, ah, then apa yang adik akan tulis akan terbalik. Faham adik tak? Okay? If you use the word, uh, if you use the word, hang on, uh, I write back the word effect, huh? Okay, effect. If you use the word depends on, uh, at All right. Then the amount of iron you put in front. All right. The amount of ions attracted depends on the current. Uh, the current you write at the back. Boleh ada? So the important thing is you know what is manipulated, what is responding. All right. Uh, these two are very important. All right. Ada perlu tahu apa itu manipulasi? Apa boleh ubah di manipulasi? Dan pemboleh ubah bergerak balas. Asalkan ini dua benda, dua pemboleh ubah ini betul, ha, adik akan okay, memperolehi harga yang tinggi. Clear? Alright, fixed variable is not that important because you only mention, you only mention one time. Okay, this one you only mention one time only. Clear? The one that you mention many many times will be manipulated. Alright, the the manipulated variable and the responding variable yang sering kali diulangi adalah pemboleh ubah di manipulasi dan pemboleh ubah bergerak balas. Okay?
So with that, we will come to the end of this session. All right. So till we meet again in the following session, I will talk about uh, Dynamo. I will talk about Moto. Okay. So all the best to you. All right. See you in our next session. Bye.